I remember March 10th, 2020, like it was yesterday. Um, I was sitting in a meeting, and it was during this meeting that we came to discover that, um, yeah, classes had all been transitioned to remote instruction for the spring semester. We were struck by how ill-prepared we were to answer questions about what would work well, or what students would enjoy, or what instructors would need. Whereas some people might have seen this opportunity to do research on how online learning happens, we saw it instead as an opportunity to better understand the experience of teachers and students. For teachers, this included what technology they were using, but also how they decided to choose those technologies, whether they made the materials themselves, and whether they were willing to share those materials with others, whether they were able to find materials from others, and if not, where did they find the materials? And a lot of teachers found themselves preparing instructional materials in complete isolation from each other. So one of the challenges that instructors had was that they were inventing the wheels each independently. So uh, usually, again, without the company of their instructional colleagues that might make a teaching community a little bit more fulfilling. So one of the big challenges that we observed among students was that they felt like they had a huge volume of schoolwork and that sometimes just the challenges of completing the schoolwork weren't things that made them feel successful. Instead, they were things that made them feel stressed and even maybe less like students because they were experiencing so many challenges trying to get the work done. Another thing that made this particular study especially unique in, com in comparison with other studies that were out there was the involvement of a wide variety of administrative voices and faculty voices and student voices as well. So we didn't just kind of sit down as a research team and decide what we were going to ask based only on what research findings might have been out there, but instead we asked for input from a wide variety of stakeholders, and that input was generous and forth forthcoming. The change that I think would be most beneficial, especially one that I think is going to reflect highly on places like Indiana University and on teachers who care, and on students who are especially interested in being engaged in their learning process, is the importance of community. And that will make for a better learning experience, but also for better learning outcomes, because there's a spectacularly strong relationship to the quality of somebody's experience in a course and what they get out of that course. And now we're discovering that collaboration is actually an important element in that. This is one spectacularly impactful event that's happened in all of our lives. Um, so yeah, without question, this will change the way that higher education is conducted from here on out.